News for Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. Breaking tonight, an explosion aboard a burning cargo ship off Blunt Island. Nine Jacksonville firefighters have been injured, some of them seriously. Within the hour, JFRD Chief Keith Powers updated us saying that of those nine firefighters hurt, one suffered heat exhaustion. Four were taken to the burn unit at Shands Gainesville. Uh, Gainesville that is in four are at UF Health here in Jacksonville. One in surgery, one in the intensive care unit, and two are in the trauma unit tonight. That ship continues to burn right now as JFRD has pulled all the firefighters off the ship until private groups that specialize in ship fires can join them. Yes, so the flames, they've been burning for more than seven hours now. We have team coverage of the latest developments. News for Jack reporter Eric Avigny is live at UF Health where some of the hurt firefighters were taken. But we begin with reporter Maggie Lorenz live near the fire scene. Maggie, what else did we learn tonight from the chief? that he has no plans to put his crews back on the ship. The fire joy, it is still burning behind me and it's going to stay that way for a while. We learned in the last 45 minutes again that JFRD will not put firefighters back on this ship because of how dangerous this fire is. Instead, we learned that outside third party maritime firefighters who specialize in firefighting on ships like this are being flown in to come up with a plan to move forward. JFRD Chief Powers said at that time when he can sit down with those crews, he will decide how to proceed. But as of right now, JFRD is leaving the fire as it is. That's because eight firefighters were seriously injured in that explosion around seven o'clock tonight. The chief stressing tonight, this is one of the most dangerous situations firefighters encounter because ships are so narrow. They're hard to maneuver and it gets very smoky and hot very fast. This is this is the probably the most dangerous firefighting that we do. Um, and literally about 10 minutes after I left y'all going over back over to the ship that's behind me, um, there was an explosion and um, we had some firefighters that got injured. Um, so we had we had nine, uh, eight firefighters that were injured in that explosion. One previous to that we had transported for heat exhaustion. So we've had a total of nine come off of this scene. Uh, right now, just keeping in your prayers. It's uh, extremely uh, difficult. Uh, Obviously, seeing these firefighters with these severe injuries that they have. In addition to the maritime firefighters that are coming in, a captain with the Coast Guard told us tonight they are also bringing in environmental experts to avoid or lessen any potential pollution impacts. That captain said right now they have found no signs of pollution that has seeped into the water, but out of precaution, they're bringing in those crews to place an oil boom around the ship. So again, this fire still burning behind me and it's going to stay that way for a while. Randy Wise with the Firefighters Association says we're looking at days, not hours to get this fire under control. We're live from Jack's Port. I'm Maggie Lorenz, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Maggie. And as we said, eight JFRD personnel were hurt in an explosion inside that ship earlier tonight. Another one suffering from heat exhaustion. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignon is at UF Health right now. Eric, Chief Power says that these injuries are things that can take a lot of time to recover from. Yes, especially the burn injuries. Bear in mind, you have four of those firefighters who suffered burns, and so they were uh, sent to a burn unit in Gainesville, uh, but they're in stable condition. Now we have four, the other four firefighters were brought here to UF Health in Jacksonville, where two were transferred to the trauma floor. Uh, one is in ICU and one is currently in surgery. Now, since we have been out here, we continue to see fire crews show up here at the hospital uh, to check up on their co-workers uh, just to make sure they're OK. Uh, we're, we've already been told that, uh, so that some of the people that were brought here are talking, so which is a good thing because that just tells us that at least they're alert. But again, one is currently in the ICU and one is currently in surgery as we speak. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.